Hello ghouls and monsters. welcome back to Planet Him. So today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at G3 Torilai. This is my first Torilai in, in a few years. It's, it's been some years for sure. So I'm so happy to have another Torilai in my collection and it's this one, look. I'm ready to get into it, child. Before we hop in, though, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Now, let's get right into this video. I'm the manager. Who the fuck are you? So, I'm sure you all have seen the G3 boxes, but I'm just going to show you real quick. It says Monster High over to the side, and it has, like, this reflective sort of um, film over it. And Torlai is over here looking real, real good in the box. Girl with her pet sweet fangs. Her box definitely has like this kind of modern twist to it, with, like the colors and everything. It's kind of giving like Barbie extra. I don't know, Rainbow High does like the the rainbow backgrounds. Like it kind of just gives like I don't know, kind of very like modern vibe to it. Um, then you have Torlai's artwork. I feel like her artwork is actually pretty pretty cute. Um, I thought the milk was missing up there, but it's actually down there under Sweet Fangs. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready to go ahead and just bust Torlai up out of here. As you see, Torlai comes to the microphone this time around, which is definitely interesting because you know if you're a big fan of the OG, you know that Torlai was always known to be like a bad singer. So I mean, it's interesting, and I can't wait to see Torlai's new personality this time around. As you see on the back of the box, it's definitely a good mix of like G1 and G2 in my opinion. When it comes to like the designs and colors, down at the bottom of Torlai's box, it says Monster Type, Ferocious Werecat, Monster Must Have, Scratch Mark Choker, and Perfectly Chilled Milk Box, and Monster Pet, Sweet Fangs. And I really like the way they have Torlai's name written down there. The boxes and like the box art has really started to grow on me over time. I definitely like, I keep all the boxes and everything. And so I've had time to like really look at them and everything. I mean, obviously there's still some things I wish could be different, but like for the most part, I mean, I like the boxes. I mean, they're, I mean, I think they're cute and I mean, I, I keep them. So they must, they must be something child. But here's the barcode if you guys need that. Now let's go ahead and get into this review. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into all the Torilai's accessories. This is so crazy. I haven't had a Torilai doll in forever, so I'm lucky freaking out, you know? Cause look, she's so cute. Anyways, milk. Okay, my girl has milk, honey. Um, it's really, really cute. I feel like it's really great for like pictures and stuff. I really love these accessories that they're giving, getting this time around. Just I feel like they're so fun. I feel like kids will really, really enjoy them because this line is made for kids. I mean, you know, they're dolls. I mean, you know, Monster High, you know, they are, you know, made for kids, you know, but I mean, there is the alumni line, you know, it's kind of made for like the, the older, you know, the older fans and stuff. But this line specifically, you know, it's, it's, it's targeted towards kids. I mean, they know what collectors want for sure. But for the most part, it's targeted towards kids. So, you know, the, the little accessories and stuff, kids are going to have fun with it. I'm going to have fun with it. I love it because <laughs> I don't know. I really do like taking doll pictures and everything. So it's so fun to like play with and you can pose them holding their accessories and everything. Super, super cute. Um, This little can of like cat food right here actually has like little words and a barcode on it. I don't know if it does anything. Um, I don't know if you could even get that to scan. It's so tiny, but child, it'd be fun to try again. What if you scan it and it takes you to like the Monster High website? Okay, so right here we have Torlai's phone. And I really, really think this is so, so cute. I really, really love that they even come with phones. Because I feel like first off, I feel like phones are, have been such a cute accessory for Monster High. On top of that, um, I feel like phones and social media is a, is a big part of the world right now. Like most people have a phone. Most people be on social media and stuff. And, you know, especially like kids, you know, teenagers, you know, most of them have phones. Most of them are on social media. So I feel like have them having phones just works and it fits. And I'm so glad that they all come with phones and all of their phone cases are different. And that's, that's everything. I really appreciate the attention to detail. Um, this is a little pixelated, but I'm Honestly, it, it doesn't really bother me. Like next up, we have her pets. Her pet is so, 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 so cute. So this is Sweet Fangs. I feel like the pets this time around are so detailed. Like even looking at theirs, I feel like they're pretty detailed to be honest. Um, I feel like they're pretty nice. They have a different colors. Like this little choker thing that um, Sweet Fangs has on is actually a separate, you know, actually a separate piece, which is really, really cool. And I feel like their pets are really, really cute this time around. Are they a little bit more like 
kitty and like it kind of looks like it could be like you know very much barbie extra a little bit you know maybe cave club a little bit maybe maybe but i think these are new modes by the way i'm pretty sure and on top of that like i don't know i feel like they look good i can acknowledge that these they definitely look like a little bit more um childish in a way but i mean like they are for kids you know i mean but i think sweet fangs is so cute i think all the pets are really really cute to be honest but yeah sweet fangs definitely eats so so cute next up we have um torlai's bag on the front of it, it says his fits which i'm guessing is the is the band that um torlai is a part of um down here at the bottom it has like this little uh feather and yeah, that's a mouse. Okay, okay. It's a little mouse and a feather. That's cute. That's cute. And like it has like little spikes. There scratch marks on the front of the bag. The bag is really cute in my opinion. Like I feel like Tor old Torlai might have something like this. Cute. It does open at the top. Hers is like really hard though. Like if you feel Claudine's, it's super squishy. And this one's like a lot sturdier plastic. But it's such a nice piece. It feels good. Like I don't know. I feel like this is, is I really, really like it. I don't know if I would stick her accessories in there. I would just be scared for them to get stuck because this is like tough to even like push open, you know? But yeah, really, really cute. For her second piece or like outfit piece, she comes up with this little shirt. It looks like it's been bleached. The shirt is really, really cute. Um, it has these claw, these red uh, claw marks down at the bottom. It has this purple cat right here on the front and it says his fit. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like on her. Okay, so while the shirt is cute, I don't think it really matches the skirt. And I feel like the boots, you know, you can let slide. But I feel like when it comes to the skirt is where it kind of throws it off for me. But then again, I don't feel like it looks like so terrible that like, I don't, I don't know. I just want to be keeping her in the shirt. But the shirt is really, really cute though. I do like the shirt itself. If you just got her some different bottoms, it would definitely be a vibe. Okay, so now Torlai actually comes with a mic, which is really, really interesting, especially if you were a big fan of G1 and Monster High, you got to see Torlai in action when it comes to, you know. singing and vocals and stuff you know she wasn't always the best and, and the big joke was like you know she didn't really know how to sing and she always sounded horrible and now i'm i'm guessing in this new version of monster high she's she's a singer my girl can sing my girl can blow you know she she, she got some notes honey she know she knows how to throw a good arrangement to get, give you a performance okay and you know along with her bag everything it says his fits i'm guessing that's her band so yeah i mean it's it's cute okay so the mic is like um purple and it has like these little um ears on it little cat ears almost and it has the little hole for her to actually hold the microphone and as you see the microphone stand is actual like paul like it's a hand that is so so cute and this part right here actually does come out yeah, right here, this top piece, like this whole thing right here comes out of there. And down here at the bottom has like the spider web design. Yeah, the mic stand is really, really, really cute. Now let's go ahead and get it to Torilai. So Torilai is the normal Monster High height, same height as Claudine, but shorter than Frankie, because you, as you know, Frankie's taller this time around. Torilai's hair is like this kind of red color and it has tones of like orange and pink up in there too really really nice i love this new face mode for torilai like the smirk the eyebrows the eyes are so so beautiful and i feel like they really really pop on the face like they just look amazing only thing i could complain about when it comes to the face is probably the little stripes on the forehead i just wish they were bigger like in the animation but they're cute you know i don't know like maybe one day i'll repaint maybe not because i really don't like doing stuff like that but i don't know i just feel like big bigger stripes would look so so much better so who knows so i might get a second one to like customize a little bit i really really love the ears the ears are definitely bigger this time around just like claudine's ears are bigger they're definitely bigger on um Tor lie on her left ear she wears one silver earring and then on the right one she has a red and silver earring really really cute she does have a painted nose and beauty mark 
I really, really love that they gave them new face modes this time. It's so new. Like, it's not like Gen 2. And it's, it's completely new, completely different. I don't know. I just really love the smirk. I'm loving all the face modes so far, to be honest. And I, I don't know. And Monster High didn't stop there. You know, they gave us all different body modes. I don't know. We live for that, though, to be honest. We live. Torlai does have tufts of fur on the side of her face, just like Claudine. I forgot to show it. But there's also fur inside of her ears, which is really, really cool. I like that little detail. Torlai wears a red jacket with like purple uh, scratch marks all over it. Really, really cute. Um, the jacket has like a little um, zip, zipper kind of like fabric material on the side. It looks really, really nice in my opinion. Under that, Torlai wears like this white shirt with red trimming around the top. And then it has like this little kitty cat on the front, which looks like it was like um, maybe ironed on or something, you know, but it's really, really cute. I know it's like, you know, she's a cat. She's wearing a cat shirt, but I don't know. I really, really like the shirt, to be honest. She even has like this little choker on and the little um, charm that's on it is kind of like little scratch marks. Really, really cute. Uh, down to Torlai's skirt, it's like this pink and black skirt. Then it has like yellow scratch marks kind of going throughout it. Um, the skirt is cute. I just wish the style was different. Maybe if they would have went for a style kind of like a Frankie skirt. But yeah, the skirt itself isn't bad. I just don't like the style of it. Like the way I like it, it was like made. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of wish the style was different. Um, Torlai also has this belt, which looks like it's made out of like ropes. Has this little paw print down at the bottom. Then has like little balls or like bells towards the end of it on the side. Really, really cute. It has like three, no, about four layers, I think. It's, 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 it's cute. Probably um, my least favorite piece out of her whole outfit. But um, I, I think it's cute. I definitely think she needed a belt. So, you know, it definitely works. Like the belt is cute. The thing I have against it is it just doesn't sit well. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't sit well in my opinion, but it's cute for sure. Torlai does have fur on her arm, legs, and tail. She also has stripes on her right leg and her left arm. However, be very, very careful because there is no um, uh, gloss over the, the stripes so they will scratch off um so i would go ahead and get you some satin varnish or something and go ahead and put it right over that so you don't have to worry about that i'm definitely going to buy more paint and fix them i low-key want to add stripes to her other leg too because I, I don't know i just kind of miss the stripes being all over her body we'll see though maybe i'll do a little video like you know customizing tori liar like fixing her up or whatever but yeah be very very careful down to Torlai's boots. I did not really know how I felt about these at first, but seeing them in person, they are like kind of detailed. You know what I'm saying? They have like the scratch marks all over them. There's little fangs on the very front of the shoes that aren't painted, but um, I think they're cute. And like the little um, yarn balls on the back of the boots, <laughs> everything, okay, everything. The purple socks, you know, they could have actually been socks, but I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Like, I, I don't know. I think Tori Light looks good. I like her little boots. Her boots are cute for sure. For sure. I feel like they really work with the outfit very, very well. But I don't know. You guys tell me how you guys feel about the boots. And I know, like, a lot of the complaints have been, like, with Monster High now. Like, the shoes aren't as, like, you know, as fierce and, and super fashionable like they used to be. But, I mean, they're cute. You know, that, I mean, they are. They're cute. They're cute. All right, guys. Well, that's Torlai. Um, as you guys probably know already, the G3 dolls will be available um, this Saturday, actually, the October 1st. All the G3 dolls will be in stores finally, and everyone can finally get them because I do need the rest, child. <laughs> I don't have them all yet, but I'm excited to get them all. I'm really, really loving G3 so far. I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on Torlai. I think overall, I would give Torlai a good, like, um... 7 out of 10. I think I would give her a good 7 out of 10. She's probably not my top 5, but she's cute, you know? Um, I think also, um, they were like, I think she retailed for like $26 after tax, 26 something after tax, so yeah. I mean, I feel like it's a, it's, it's a good amount, of, you get a good amount of things for the price, you know? But I want to hear all you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Please let me know how you guys feel. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel, and make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are, because you're yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.